Hey Movement members, here is a video with demonstrations and explanations for your new mobility warm-up that you will be doing before your workout. For the first few mobility pieces, you'll be grabbing one of the PVC pipes. The first one is going to be shoulder dislocate, which many of you have already done in the gym as part of your workout. But for a reminder, what you'll do is grab the bar fairly wide and then bring the bar up and overhead, keeping the arms as wide as comfortable while still maintaining a straight elbow. If you can't get the bar up all the way around to your lower back, that's okay. You can stop here and then bring the bar back down. As a few key points with this one, you don't want to bring the bar overhead with your arm, with your head forward. You also don't want to bring the bar overhead by arching your lower back. Try to maintain a neutral spine throughout the entire motion. Next up is going to be the hamstring stretch with a hip hinge. What you'll do is take the PVC pipe, place it along the length of your spine. You want to keep your head, your middle back, and your tailbone pressed against the, the pipe lightly. You'll extend one leg out in front of you, keep the stance leg kind of soft, and then you'll just hinge forward, feeling a stretch out in your extended leg. You only want to bend as far forward as you can keeping that neutral spine position. You don't want to arch away from the PVC pipe at any point. Repeat with the other leg. One leg might be a little more tight than the other, requiring you a little bit of more of a soft knee in your stance leg, and that's okay. Just may, remember to maintain that neutral spine position against the pipe. Last exercise that we're going to do with the PVC pipe before moving on is going to be a lumbar twist. This is going to just get your lumbar spine moving and warmed up. It's as simple as placing the pipe on your shoulders lightly, twisting through the spine, keeping the hips relatively forward, but they'll move a little bit with, this, with the spine as well. It's not so much twisting through here because now my back isn't twisting, so you want to keep the feet planted and just a gentle twist through your spine a few times in each direction. Next is going to be a deep lunge with a twist. This is going to help get our entire spine to move as well as get a good stretch through the back of our hip. What you'll do is start in a standing position, take a big lunge forward, reach down, and then with the opposite arm, twist up towards the ceiling. So I'm twisting towards my forward leg. From there, come back up. Deep lunge forward with the opposite leg, hand comes down, Again, twisting over my forward leg. Now, if you can't put, get down quite that far, that's totally fine. There's ways you can modify. You can just do a little lunge forward with a side twist this way, or even you know, assisting with this hand pulling across. And then from the back, it looks like this. For this exercise, you're going to be getting down on the floor, and this is going to help open up our hips. We're just doing a modified version of shin boxes, just the forward part not actually getting up. So you'll have your feet wide enough, but still close enough that when you drop your knees to the side, you're in what we call the cheerleader pose. So this heel is connected to that knee. Rock the other way, and notice that this knee is still connected to this heel this direction. Just rocking the legs side to side to get the, get the hip joints moving a little bit. Next, we're going to be doing some banded side steps to help warm up the glutes. You'll take a lighter band, place it down around your ankles, or if you need to, you can also place it just below the knee. What you'll do is have not a full squat, but definitely some soft knees, thinking about having your hips back. Keep your toes pointed forward to make sure that we're always engaging the glutes, and then from there, you're going to side step. As we do this, we want to keep as still of a trunk as possible, so that way we're not tilting like this, and so that we're also not dipping. It's just maintaining this position as you sidestep in each direction. The next mobility piece is called torches. This is going to help you activate the muscles in the middle part of our back, which we'll need for stability for heavy lifting later on. What you'll be doing is raising your arms up in the air as if you're trying to raise a torch over your head. You'll stand relatively close to the wall. Make sure you maintain that neutral spine position so you're not overly arching your lower back. You'll also want to keep your shoulder blades tucked into your back pockets. From there, you'll have your arms up on the wall, lifting them up, maintaining that position through your shoulder blades and your lower back, and then come back down. 
If you raise your arms up and your shoulder blades pop up or your back arches, don't go any higher. Just raise your arms up as high as you can while maintaining that position through your spine and your shoulder blades. And the last exercise in our mobility warm-up, many of you are already familiar with, it's still the one-arm kettlebell farmer carry. This is going to help make sure that we are getting our core warmed up and activated. For this, you'll grab the bell, carry it at your side, walk, making your lap around the gym. After you make the lap, you'll switch hands and make one more lap. And that is your mobility warm-up. I did, didn't I? Okay. I'm so This is weird. <laughs> I was... <laughs> I feel like I'm posing for my senior photo. <laughs>